Vandalism. How the hell did she detach that vent, climb into it, and reattach it again so quickly and silently? Racism. Why would you bang your feet on top of that roof? The passengers might hear you. Silvasta Pharmaceuticals. Destruction of property. Assault with a deadly weapon. Hitting an innocent girl. You beast men disgust me. Prejudice. I'm sick of seeing you around here. Time to die. Attempted murder. <laughs> Excuse me. Huh? Character being saved by a newcomer who is off screen cliche. Or in other words, Miku Mari Ex Machina. The smink would do great with furry anime sins. You say we hurry this up and finish these guys off already. Ra. If we kill them, it'll be a pain to deal with later. Actually, if you kill them, they won't be a problem for any other beastman who's just seeking refuge at Anima City. So please, by all means, kill them. They will not be missed. Hey, you know what would be cool? Let's howl and freak out the newcomer. That'll be a laugh. It's a festival! I don't have to hide who I am anymore! Well, yeah, but you might want to pick up that cloak. It's your first day in that city and you're already littering. For shame, Michiru. <laughs> Not looking where you're going. What an incredible smell. It's the smell of beast men filled with joy and happiness. Minus five sins for Academy Award winning voice actor Ben, king of the furry anime Diskin. Hmm? Enjoy it. We've waited for this festival for a thousand years. Foreshadowing. Why is he crying? Weirdo. Says the Tanuki slash human hybrid. Don't get the wrong idea now. Beastmen's special zone isn't invincible. Just remember that if you beastmen ever decide to do anything risky, there's no telling what could happen to you. That sounded way too threatening. Oh look, you got something to eat? You told me you gave me all the money you had. Greediness. Me? That hurt. Left. Also, why would Michiru put her wallet in her tail? Michiru was obviously enrolled in the Prometheus School of Running Away From Things. See, the thing about super smell is that you can smell everything. In a city plaza where a festival is taking place, that one scent that you're trying to look for would get mixed in with every other smell in the area. Even with Shiru's heightened ability, it would be impossible for him to do this. Also, I'm making it a point now that Shiro Ogami is way too overpowered, even by anime standards. Naruto running. Also, running with your eyes closed. It's really too bad. It was a scentless bomb. If it's scentless, then what was that pink purplish trail that Shiro picked up? He survived that. With those flames just billowing behind him, I'm surprised that his trench coat hasn't caught fire yet. Aiming like a stormtrooper. Careful, the wolf guy's tough. He was able to dodge my bomb. Well, he didn't quite dodge it per se, so much as he ran into it as it exploded. How would you know that? Why would you blow up your own getaway car? Okay, I get why this guy is screaming. He's a lion. They roar and growl when they get aggressive. But why is this guy screaming? Anything but my ah! Don't those
those things grow back though? Step, don't move. If you move even one inch, then she's dead. Got that? You're mistaken. She's not the dead one. Huh? Badass good guy character somehow teleporting behind the bad guy cliche. That's enough, isn't it? Do you really have to kill them? Yes. The festival was ruined because of them. Yeah, but they're beastmen just like you. How could you? Michiru is in desperate need of a reality check. Well. But not all humans are like that, you know. Every human is exactly the same. You know, that's kind of racist. Then she's dead, got that? You're mistaken. She's not the dead one. Huh? <laughs>